Oh, my God. 
saying, you got you to gotta know something. The old man river, just keep rolling along. And, and what they encourage you and everybody else is climbing that mountain. All right. Although we're climbing the mountain and we get a yes. little bit higher on Jacob's ladder, yes. Yes. we're still on mission for the Lord. Amen. 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 And all your rejoicing, we're still on mission for the Lord. Yes. We're going to hear from our administrator the announcements at this time. Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Building on a sure foundation upon the rock I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Matthew 16, 18. For other foundation can no man lay the that to the state, which is Jesus Christ. First Corinthians 3, 11. Building faith, family, and fellowship on the principles and promises of God's word. We want to welcome our visiting friends and we trust that you have been blessed being in our presence. And we're always happy to have you with us. Our call for today down on the left side of the bulletin. Never take for granted my intimate nearness. Marvel at the wonder of my continual presence with you. Even the most ardent human lover cannot be with you always, nor can another person know the intimacies of your heart, mind, and spirit. I know everything about you, even the number of hairs on your head. You don't need to work at revealing yourself to me. Luke 12, 7, John 1, 12. Our key theme and verse for 2022 together. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Say that. Psalms 46, 10, 10 and 11. Trust, Trust God and the rest of him. him. The year has changed. The pandemic is still here. Vaccines and boosters are available. Remember, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Psalm 24, 1. Trust in him, depend on him, rely on him. Sunday, October the 2nd, is our Women's Day uh, morning worship, begin at 11 a.m. Reverend Thelma Anderson will be ministering to us. Also, Amen. we have the Women's Prayer Fellowship, which is the Women of Hope, after this service. Sunday, October the 9th, 8 a.m. is our p.m. 11 a.m. is morning worship, Holy Communion, following morning's worship. Sunday, October the 16th, morning worship begins at 11 a.m. Authentic Manhood Bible Study every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Mm -hmm. until October the 29th. Mm -hmm. Also, remembering today, uh, co-workers, United Missionary Baptist Church family, Sunday, October the 2nd, pastoral anniversary service starts mm -hmm. at 1 p.m. And that's at United Missionary Baptist Church, 25th and Thompson Street. Sunday, October 23rd, is their uh, pastoral uh, Starlight Gala, which will be held at Repsol Grove Event Center. Uh, the time to RSVP is today. Tickets are $125. Also, there's hotel accommodations if you so desire. But you would, um, unfortunately, the reservation was September 23rd. So, but the pastoral anniversary is 20, the 23rd, and that's Pastor Chandra. Amen. Church, sure, amen. Amen. Now, um, that last announcement about the uh, worship service this afternoon, um, we have seen a different time. Uh, I believe 3 o'clock they're going to start their service from what we just saw. Amen. Amen. Um, unless you can shoot that to the earth. Amen. Um, again, we thank and praise God for all that, and uh, I want you, as we're uh, preparing for prayer, keep in mind that there are uh, uh, a number of pastors that God has taken home. I saw another one that was listed this morning, and uh, we mentioned.
mentioned last week that Pastor Herb Lust of Greater Exodus, he's gone home. And we were praying for his son, who was to uh, eulogize his father, according to information that I had. I uh, want you to continue to encourage one another and uh, be mindful of, uh, of different uh, pastors. I believe also today, Pastor uh, Clarence Hester is uh, <coughs> celebrating his pastoral anniversary as well. Amen? Um, there are a number of folks that have been uh, hospitalized, a number of folks that we need to catch up with. I was on the phone with some yesterday, and perhaps I, uh, was, going to try, I was going to try to reach some yesterday, but uh, I was going through a procedure. So I'm going to try to at least touch base with him today. And also, Elder Bradshaw, remember him before the Lord as well. Amen. 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 That being said, we're going to ask if one of our uh, brothers would uh, take us to the throne of grace, keeping in mind that we thank God for the women that he has planted here and for your ministry to both uh, the, the, the church as well as to our community. Amen? Amen? And there are some that are under the sound of our voice. Uh, we heard uh, praises and thanksgiving for uh, Brother Tyrone been in and out of the operations twice this week. And he's here this morning, you know? Amen. And uh, we have some challenges also. So uh, remember your pastor before the Lord is well. Amen. Amen. Most holy and everlasting God, our Father, Lord, we thank you once again for another opportunity to come to your house of prayer. Mm -hmm. Lord, we thank you for the <coughs> for the opportunity just to just to say thank you for all you've done. Lord, had it not been for you, where would we be? Lord, we thank you right now just for just for for holding up and and strengthening and encouraging and ministering to the the, the names that were called before. Lord, we ask that you would just you would just do a, a special thing and allow them to see and know that you are God and that you are in charge of all things. Lord, we thank you right now just for just for just for blessing us and allowing us the opportunity to come net, come right now and do intercessory prayer for those who those who who cannot those who, who don't even know they need to. Lord, we we know that you you have a special you have you have a special language where you understand the moans and groans of your children. Lord, so even even when we in our in our humanness miss someone, Lord, you know what you know what their need is, and Lord, you know how to how to meet their need. Lord, we ask that you we bless, touch our pastor. Lord, touch his family. Lord, with all that's going on, Lord, we ask that you would just continue to strengthen his body. Lord, we ask that you would touch all of those who are ravaged right now by 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 the storm down in Florida and then South Carolina and moving up the coast. Lord, we we know that your hand is still controlling all that's going on. And Lord, we ask that you would just you would just minister to each and every person that's being that's being impacted by the by this storm. Lord, there's folks that are in the storm and Lord there are there are families and loved ones who are not there, who don't know the outcome or the, the, the circumstances of their loved ones. And Lord, that in itself is a major, major emotional impact, even on those that are not in the midst of the storm. Lord, may may not be in the midst of the, the, the environmental storm, but Lord, there's an emotional and spiritual storm that they're going through, and Lord, they need to know that you are in control. Lord, we ask that you would bless each and every person gathered here. Lord, bless their families. Lord, give them the strength and the wisdom to stand, in spite of all, to stand, to, to, to live and be a beacon that others might see you shine through us and be drawn to you. 
Lord, we ask that you would show us how to be the arms and legs of your love. Lord, in our physical, in our spiritual, in our emotional, Lord, strengthen us so that others might see you. Not mm -hmm. us, but see you. Lord, touch the bodies, touch the minds, touch the bodies, touch the spirits of all those that are gathered here today. Lord, strengthen us, give us a greater, give us a greater challenge to go forth and share your love, physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. Lord, show us how to minister to your people on all levels so that they might see that you are in control and you love them in spite of their circumstances. Lord, we ask that you will bless this service. Lord, bless, bless uh, Evangelist Anderson. Lord, strengthen her. Lord, touch her in a mighty way this morning that, that she might present to our young, uh, our women and challenge them in the way that you know they need to be challenged so that your ministry might go forth. Lord, we ask that everything that is said and done be said and done to your praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let your say amen. 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 My prayer is inclusive. I'm not going to pray that Evangelist Anderson will bring a word to our women. My prayer is that she preach to us all. That she preach to us all. God said his word will go forth just like the rain and the snow. And it would return in gold. Mm -hmm. And uh, I recall many years ago, as we were getting our feet wet, how folks used to say things like that. And, and I forget the one said, Wow, Lord. Mm -hmm. Young people are the only ones I'm supposed to talk to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let us always remember. Lord, let your word go and let it land where it needs to be. Amen. Amen. For our offertory scripture this morning, I'm not going to go deep. I'm just going to share with you a word that comes out of Colossians 3. When you and I give, We mentioned in Sunday school some things we wind up doing out of purpose or out of habit. We do some things because that's what folks are expecting. But the Sunday school lesson was teaching us about serving God and worshiping Him in obedience. One of the things that Paul wrote to the Colossian church, and I believe this is a good glove around we, the way we worship God with our giving. Amen. Even uh, Dr. Stanley touched this this morning about 3 o'clock. And I'm just going to read for you verse 17 out of Colossians 3. You write it down and check it when you get back home. Amen. Amen. And, uh, Pray with me. I, I'm, I'm going to uh, medicine that uh, uh, just started taking as a result of this issue, and uh, it keeps drying me completely up. Amen. Verse 17 says, And whatsoever you do, in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. Word or deed. You make a promise to the Lord, remember that promise is to the Lord. You do an act for the Lord, remember you do it as unto the Lord. There are folks that are watching, 
There are folks that are listening, but no matter what the situation or circumstance, God should be getting the glory. Amen. 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 Now, it is Women's Day 2022, and uh, we thank God that we're able to meet again in the building. Amen? Amen. I'm going to read a little bit of... Uh, the 12th chapter of Acts. Amen? Amen? I'm going to read just a few verses out of the 12th chapter of Acts. And uh, let me see. Uh, do y'all have so much for us? Amen? Amen? And following that, we will have a selection by um, our women all star. <laughs> Amen. But just prior to that, I do want to introduce and familiarize some of you with Reverend Thelma Anderson. Mm -hmm. This is the younger sister of Deaconess uh, Christine Gillespie. And her husband, who is home with the Lord, was very instrumental and encouraging to me many years ago as we were just getting underway in ministry. As a matter of fact, uh, and I, I like to think about this because it is one of the things that will help you to stay in your lane and remember who you are and where you are in the Lord. Uh, we were, um, I asked him on one occasion, how do you preach to a small number of people? And you know what he told me? As hard as you do if you had a room full. And what he did in that council was he snipped all the chains so that we go hard, hard, hard. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. And we thank God for that encouragement. Now, in Acts chapter 12, I'm going to begin with verse 1, and I'm going to probably stop. I'll let you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because there's a, there's a couple of, see, 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 when you read scripture for somebody else, you know, it's like, a, oh man, especially when you hear your green light, there's so many different things that God speaks off those pages. But in context, Peter had been arrested and he's now in jail. And John, the brother, I mean, uh, James, the brother of John, had already been killed. And uh, Herod, he sort of felt good about it because he was seeking his own glory. But notice some of the things that occurred. Beginning with verse 1, about that time King Herod violently attacked some who belonged to the church. And he executed James, John's brother, with the sword. Now, when he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter too during the festival of unleavened bread. Now, after the arrest, he put him in prison and assigned four squads of four soldiers, each to guard him, intending to bring him out to the people after the Passover. So Peter was kept in prison, but the church was praying fervently to God for him. Now when Herod was about to bring him out for trial, that very night, Peter, bound with two chains, was sleeping between two soldiers with the sentries in front of the door guarded, of the, of the door guarded the prison. Suddenly an angel of the Lord 
appeared and a light shone in the cell, striking Peter on the side. He woke him up and said, Quick, get up. All the chains fell off his wrist. Get dressed, the angel told him. Put on your sandals. And he did. Wrap your cloak around you, he told him, and follow me. So he went out and followed. He did not know that what the angel did was really happening. But he thought he was seeing a vision. Now, after they passed the first and second guards, they came to the iron gate that leads into the city, which opened to them by itself. Y'all better see God move. They went outside, past one street, and suddenly the angel left him. When Peter came to himself, he said, Now I know. For certain that the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me from Herod's grip and from all that the Jewish people expected. As soon as he realized this, he went to the house of Mary, the brother, the mother of John, who was called Mark, where many had assembled and were praying. He knocked at the door of the outer gate. Servant named Rhoda came to answer. She recognized Peter's voice, and because of her joy, she did not open the door the gate, but ran in and announced that Peter was standing at the outer gate. You're out of your mind, they told her. But she kept insisting that it was true. And they said, It's his angel. Peter, however, kept on knocking, and when they opened the door and saw him, they were amazed. Why are you amazed if you pray to a God that says he can do what he wants to do? When he wants to do it. Here are our all-stars. Amen, amen, amen. Come on, y'all, y'all, praise. Praise the Lord. Amen.
And I praise God for Sister um, Sister Graves and yes. Brother Graves, Deacon Graves back there. They have been a blessing to my sister. Yes. I thank God for all of you that watch. The Lord. Watch. Amen. Oh, amen. amen. When we talk about sometimes we say to each other, we say, when we can't find something, you know, we're both up there. All we right talk now. about 65. Keep on pushing. Right. Amen. amen. Keep on pushing amen. up the King's Highway. Right. Yes. Amen. Wisdom comes with age. Yes. We, we try to find things and we say, remember what we said in the message that we had. Mm -hmm. Look. Yes. But look again. Mm -hmm. Amen. Look. But look again. Right. And when we do that, we yes. find what we are looking yes. for. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Amen. She, she, she's a witness to that. We, look, we can be on the telephone and I said, look again. You know? right. Look and look again. All Don't right. just look the first time. Because the devil doesn't want you to well, see well. what you're looking for. Right. And this morning, the yes. word of God, I want you to listen and listen again. Mm -hmm. Amen. To what God is saying yes. to his people. Not about me, but it's about Jesus and what he wants us to give you. Thank you. Amen. In the word of God to help you. Amen. I, I yes. had to preach it to myself before right. I could preach it to you. Go ahead. Amen. Yeah. I, I sat down and I beat myself up and, right. you know, just, just talk the house. Right. You know, but I know that I had to bring Thank something Lord. for the people of God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you see me through my eyes like this, don't worry about it. It's my windshield wipers. Don't worry about it. Amen. <laughs> Stay with it, brother. You come in contact with me. Amen. Praise the Lord. We bless the Lord. Yes. Praise yes. God. Praise Amen. Lord. In Acts the 12th chapter, yes. Pastor Graves did read from 1, I believe, down to, what did you stop at, Pastor? Down to 15. That's what I thought. Okay. I want to focus on this one particular verse out of that chapter. Yes. It says, therefore, mm -hmm. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, yeah. but prayer mm -hmm. was made with him without ceasing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Prayer was made for Peter mm -hmm. without ceasing. Amen? Amen. And I came this morning to give you a push. All right mm -hmm. now. Thank you. I came to give you a push this morning. I know some of us have been struggling. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Some of us have been standing still in the same spot. Mm -hmm. But I came this morning to yes. tell you that yes. God said yes. you need to push. All right. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen? The church was pushing for Peter. Yes. Yes. And we heard what Pastor Graves read, mm -hmm. that the gate swung open. Yes. Mm -hmm. The angel of the Lord appeared unto him. Mm -hmm. The same thing can happen unto you this morning. Amen? Amen, amen. I came today to let you know that prayer is the answer. All right. And not just prayer, but prayer relentlessly. All right. well, well. Amen. Well. Relentlessly. Well. Some of us give up too soon. Yes. Yes. We get down and we stay All five right. minutes. Yes. We stay two minutes. Right. We do like the Thank other you. people do. We do this and then we get up. Amen. But we need to stay there and be relentless. Well, you're relentless about the cars you want, the jobs you want, the money you want, the life you want. Amen. But we need to be relentless in our prayer life with God. We need to push. Glory to God. Our way. Push. Push. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. What you want God to do for you. Lord. We need to realize oh, that yeah. we also need to yes. pray for other people this yes. morning. Yes. Not only pray for ourselves, there's okay. so much to well, pray about. All right yeah. now. Amen? Yes. I find myself when I get down on my knees mm -hmm. and I go to get up, yes. I'm like this. All right mm -hmm. now. I can't get quite get up mm -hmm. because I still got somebody on my mind. Mm -hmm. I still got prayer in my heart. I still have yes. prayer in my spirit. Yes. I still think about yes. somebody yes. that needs yes. the Lord. Yes. Somebody in your family. Yes. Somebody on your yes. job. Yes. Somebody you yes. may have seen yes. passing on the yes. street. Yes. Lord of God, we got yes. to push the morning. Yes. Yes. I want you to help me preach this today. Yes. I want you to help me do oh, what? Push? Yes. Yes. I need you to say push. 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 Lord of God. I'm going to use it when a mother is carrying a child for nine months or eight months, however it may be long, and she goes into the delivery room, 
We have things inside of us yes. that we need to birth. Yes. Amen. We yes. need to birth it because God has Thank put it Lord. inside yes. of us. Yes. Amen. Yes. When they go in the fraternity yes. ward and uh, the water has uh, expelled itself and the, uh, the husband or the doctors or the nurses say push. Right. Glory to God. Then they wait a while. Yes. They say push again. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Then they say push again. Yes. Glory to God. Then they break something. Yes. They break life. Hallelujah. Yes. We need to break life. Glory yes. to God. People in the city of Philadelphia yes. is walking around yes. dead today. Yes. We need to push life into them. Yes. We need to push life into our children. Yes. Life into our acquaintance. Yes. Life into our husbands. Yes. Life into yes. our family today. Yes. Yes. We need to push. Well. Glory to God. We need to push. Amen? Amen. The word push means physically more move something or somebody out of the way. But the word push, glory to God, is an acronym for that. Push means pray until something happens. We need to pray until something happens. Amen? Not enough Christians pray. Glory to God and pray with some, until something happens. You may say this morning, I've been praying a long time, and I haven't seen my prayer answered. I haven't seen it come to fruition. Yes, but yes. you got to keep on praying. Yes. Our time is not God's time. Maybe whatever you're praying for is not the right time. But when God gives it to you, it's going to be all right. Nobody can take it away from you. Amen? Whatever it might be, nobody can take it away from you. We got the Push, oh, yes. push, 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 glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Not enough Christians pray yes. until something happens. Amen. You may say this morning that I've been praying a long time yes, Lord. and nothing has happened. Jesus. That's only because you have not pushed long enough mm. and hard enough. Mm. Amen? Amen. Some of us pray once a day, yes. but there are times we need to pray oh. and pray three times yes. a day, yes. four times. However long it takes, yes. the harder you push, the more breakthrough you will get. Yes. Yes. Glory to God. The harder you push, yes. glory to God. You have to pray and pray and pray until something happens. Amen? Amen. You must do like the Bible says. Call, be constant yeah. in season. Pray without ceasing. Pray always. It's a men always ought to pray and not faint. Amen? Glory to God. You need to stay on your knees until something happens. Amen? Glory to God. And I can tell you, prayer changes things. Yes, it does. When you pray, things happen. Yes. People yes. get healed. Yes. And people yes. get delivered. Yes. Yes. And people yes. get blessed. Yes. And relationships yes. are resolved. Well. Issues on your job yes. is solved. Yes. People get saved. Yes. Miracles happen. Yes. Yes. When you pray, yes. Lord yes. God, you well, see well, God well, in yes. action when you well, pray. Well, well, when you really pray, God, God will show up. Yes. Lord God, should yes. you men should always Bless pray Lord. and not faint, amen? Yes. Glory Lord. to God. Yes. We should always Thank pray. God. He said, that's, that's the Bible. God. The Lord told me to Thank tell you this Lord. morning. You must always pray yes. and not faint. Yes. When something starts to happen, if you Lord. lose control of it, yes. give it to the Lord and say, God, I'm yes. turning it over to yes. you. Yes. Glory yes. to God, I'm yes. leaving it at yes. your cross. I'm leaving yes. it in your hands. Yes. And watch God in your behalf today. Yes. The Bible yes. said that yes. Peter was thrown in the jail. Yes. Immediately the yes. church started to pray. Yes. In other words, yes. the church began to yes. push. Yes. I need you to push. Yes. I need you to hear you yes. say push. Yes. Come on this morning. We're going to let the devil know. We're going to push. Yes. Oh, God. We're going to push. Yes. Oh, God. In the old days, the church used to come together yes. and pray with, uh, for, with each other and yes. for each other. Amen. Yes. We'll come together wow. and we'll have a birthday celebration. Yes. We'll have a little party. Yes. We'll have all other yes. kinds of uh, things going on. But we need to come together and push. Yes. Lord God, push the lost soul. Push for those that are men on the sick bed. Push the story for that addict that's walking up and down the street. That's what brought you out. We were pushing glory to God. You don't have to know who they are, but you know what it's all about in the world. God will have us push for the God for this lost soul on the street. Push for these young people in school. Push glory to God for all the babies that are getting hurt and those praying the standing and watching them every day of the day. 
go to school. We yes. got to push. Yes. We don't have to be your child. Yes. We have to be yes. somebody else's child. Yes. You need to push. Yes. Glory to God. Don't stop pushing this morning. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. The church came. Yes. Thank Lord. you, Jesus. The Bless church the want to come together to pray. Yes. Glory to God. Thank but they don't want to come together to pray. Years ago, I remembered uh, when we used to go to church, yes. and they would be praying, and sometimes yes, I wasn't big enough to touch, you know, like their chest, yes. but I heard them, and I yes. felt it, yes. glory to God, they prayed well, in the spirit, right, glory man. to God, they didn't just say a few words, they prayed until something happened, yes. they stood at the end of their prayer, yes. and they prayed, well, because if they didn't pray, yes. they might not have had food yes. to eat, well, they prayed, glory well, to God, well, and they in the race. Thank Glory God. to God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord. There are going to be times yes. in our lives yes. where living right yes. doesn't seem right. to be well. right. Amen. Well. Amen. Oh, yes. We think that we're living right. Yes. But we need to check ourselves yes. to see what God wants yes. in our lives. Yes. What do you want, Lord, from me? I read something one day well. and it yes. said, Lord, what do you want from me? Mm -hmm. Lord of God, we Father, thank God Father, this morning yes. for answering those Father, prayers. Spirit. What do you want from thank me? You, we need to ask God that yes. this morning. Yes. Lord, what do you want from me? Yes. Lord of God, he doesn't thank want us just to sit yes. and do nothing. Right, and he yes. wants us to go out well, into the highways yes. and the byways yes. and tell men, boys and girls, yes. women, that yes. Jesus yes. is the answer. Yes. There is no other thank way. You, they talk you. about Glory to God in Washington and different organizations. Well, what can we do? Well, they have a big question mark well, on their mind. Well, What's going on? Right. We don't know what to do. Jesus. And they're trying to figure it out. Yes. But we know what to do. Amen. We know to push right, this now. morning. Yes. Push yes. and don't let go. Hold on to the yes. home yes. of the altar. Yes. Push. Yes. Glory to God. We got to pray for our presidents. Yes. Pray for those in leadership. Yes. Pray for our pastors. Yes. Pray for the yes. missionaries. Yes. Pray for the saints of God. We got to pray one for another. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. And there's a push in that today. Well, Glory well, to God. Well, Thank you, Lord. Oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sometimes you just have to push. Yes. Glory to God. Sometimes you just have to push. If you're sitting down alone Thank you. Thank somewhere you. in your house or wherever, yes. Yes. you can still push in your spirit. Yes. Amen. Yes. Say a prayer. Well, Hallelujah. Well, Get away from yes. the things of the world. Yes. The Lord said, be separated. Yes. Come out from among yes. them. Yes. So my people, come out. Hallelujah from Thank the world. The and the things of the world yes. stop listening to their dirty uh, jokes. Yes. Stop getting in their conversation. Yes. But stay focused uh, and walk uh, in the spirit. Yes. Glory to God. And we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Yes. Our flesh hunger for stuff that is not of God. Yes. But we got to crucify this yes. flesh yes. through the word of God. Yes. Through prayer and yes. discipline in the spirit. Yes. Glory to God. Father, Thank you, Jesus. God. He said, walk in the light yeah. as I am in the light. Amen. Yeah, we need to walk in the light. The light has no fellowship yes. with darkness. Amen. Well, we need well, to walk in the light. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Yes, While Bless Paul God. was in jail, the us, church, glory to God, yes. pushed until something happened. Yes. The Bible says that yes. the angel of God mm -hmm. showed up in yes. the prison. Yes. There were guards all around mm -hmm. Peter holding uh, Peter in jail. Yes, but with God, all things are possible. Wow. He said, ask the question, uh, is there anything too hard for me? Why would God ask us a question? Because of our doubt and our disbelief. Don't be a doubting Thomas. He said, is there anything? If you believe the Old Testament, you got to believe the New Testament. And if you believe the whole Bible, then why not believe God can do just what he said? Amen. He said, is there anything too hard for me? Nothing is too hard for me. He said, but God, all things are possible. But with men, it might not be. But with God, all things all things are possible this morning with God. Amen? All things. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The angel of God showed up in the prison. There were guards all around Peter holding him in the jail. But God, 
Oh, hallelujah. Lord God. The church was praying. They were pushing. Yes. Amen. They were in yes. constant yes. prayer. Yes. And, and to the point where they were praying even when the gates were open and Peter came out, they were still praying. God will answer you while you're praying. Your prayers will be answered. If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, God will answer your prayer. But we got to have that faith, that mentality of glory to God in the spirit, not in the flesh. In the flesh dwelleth no good thing. But in the spirit that's in our body, we got to believe that God will do what he said. And we got to keep on praying. Don't give up. Amen. Don't give up. What if somebody had given up on you and had stopped praying for you? Where would you be today? Amen. Somebody prayed for all of us in here. That's why we're here this morning. Our grandparents, our great grandparents, they kept pushing. I used to hear my grandmother two and three o'clock in the morning. She'd wake up and I said to my husband when he went down there on vacation, I said, what is she talking about? But all glory to God. She was talking to the master. She was talking to her Lord and Savior. She was talking about her children. She was talking about her grandchildren. And that's why we're here today. Glory to God. Mothers and grandfathers prayed for her. They pushed until they pushed through. Glory to God. They pushed until something happened. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. If God yes. is for you, yes. he's more than the world against you this well, morning. Well. Amen. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. While the church was praying, yes. God was moving. Yes. While you are praying, God is moving. Yes. But you got yes. to continue to pray. Yes. Continue to stay connected to yes. the Lord. Yes. Continue to stay prayed yes. up. Yes. Glory to yes. God. When you go out on the streets yes. of Philadelphia, yes. you don't have to worry about right. who's yes. shooting who My or who's going to hurt who. Because you are surrounded yeah. by the angels. Yeah. Glory to God, the protection oh, around you. Yeah. Nothing is going to yeah. harm you or hurt yeah. you. Yeah. He said, no weapon, oh, no weapon this morning yeah. is formed against you. Yeah. Shall prosper. Mm -hmm. Oh, glory to God. You'll make your enemy your footstool. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God, this Thank morning. You, if you push today, yeah. Yeah. you got to keep on pushing. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. We got to push. Yeah. Glory to God until something happens. Yeah. Philippians 3. And 14. Yes. Paul yes. says, I press, I press. to want. Right. Glory to God. The right. want of the high yes. calling, yes. which is in Christ yes. Jesus. My, my, we my, got my. to push, yes. and then we got to press. Right. We got to keep pushing yes. and keep pressing yes. until we come to. Oh, God. Right. That's the only way you're going to get your right. breakthrough this morning. Right. We got to push, push. All Thank right. you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Lord. The word press. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. The word press yes. means, thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord. urge, uh -huh. to urge, to, thank you, Jesus, to urge with force, yes. amen, yes. or weight, All right. a word of extensive wow. use, the, Lord. the application of any power, yes, physical or moral, yes. to something that is to be moved or affected, amen, yes. we press thank the ground that our feet walk on. Well, well, we press well. the couch when we recline to sit down. Mm -hmm. We press the substance yes. with our hands yes. and our fingers and our arms. Yes. We are pressed press with the weights the and the arguments yes. and the cares of this world. Yes. Wow. Amen. We are pressed, but we got to start pushing. Yes. We got to start pushing, yes. church. All Amen. Right. Amen. We got right. to push. Like in the war, yes. in the army, right, in the military, right, we push, they right. push, we push back. Right. Glory to God, we got to push back right. on yes. Satan and let him know, yes. I'm going to stand in my ground. Right. I'm going to stand on the word of yes. God. No matter what comes, yes. I'm going to trust God. Yes. I'm going to believe God. Yes. I'm going to believe in his word. Yes. I'm not going to be yes. moved. I'm going to be like that tree planted by the rivers of water. I shall not be moved. We got to stand. Glory to God. Divine or impelled 
by per pressure. Yes. Glory to God. We push a thing forward by force. Apply mm -hmm. behind it or in front of it. We push, yes. push. Amen? Yes. Glory to God. Amen? As long as you push it, Satan's going to back off. Yes. Amen? He's okay. got to back off. Jesus. Because you're connected. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. To the Father. Yes. Well, Amen? He pushed Father. Jesus yes. higher than us. He pushed Jesus to the point where he wanted him to give up everything. Yes. He wanted him to give him right. everything. Right. He said, if you worship me, yes. I'll give you everything. Right. How right. dumb he was. Right. That he owned everything. Right. Glory to God. Yes. You already yes. own right. what God has yes. given you. So he can't give you anything better today. There's nothing he can give you. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank Thank you. Keep on pushing. Thank glory God. to God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Galatians, uh, glory to God. Thank Five you, and seven yes. says, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. You are running yes. a good race. Yes. Oh, glory to God. Who Thank cut you. in? This yes. is the, the New International Version. Who cut well, in well, on you to keep you right from uh, obeying the truth? Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. Thank Amen. You. The word of God is truth. Amen. Amen. He's telling us in his word to yes. push. Mm. We have to push. Amen. Amen. If we don't push, he said the race is not yes. given to the swift, yes. nor to the strong. All right, man. But if you endure to the end, you yes. shall be saved. Yes. Sometimes I come out of my house and I say, Lord Jesus, yes. why do I have to come out? Well, <laughs> to face this world. But I got to come out. Amen. Well, you have to come out. Yeah. Some of you have jobs. You got to go on your job. Right, the yeah. enemy is everywhere. Yeah. You got to push yeah. in the spirit. Yeah. Glory to God. You got to walk in the spirit yeah. of God. Yeah. You cannot let the enemy yeah. push you around. Yeah. You got to stand your ground. Yeah. Stand on the word of God. Well, Hallelujah. Be yeah. counted oh, as a soldier in God's yeah. army.
get understanding. Yeah. If we don't give them understanding, they'll yeah. be out in the world right. yeah. doing their own thing. They don't give yeah. them an understanding. Yeah. But it will be the wrong understanding. Yeah. 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 So we got to teach them. The Lord said, teach them. Yes, teach them in the way they should go. Teach them to reverence God. Teach them to yes. obey the word. Amen. Amen. You may say, some of us say, well, they're so young. They understand more than you realize. Amen. More than you realize, they understand. Because at that age, I understood that I wasn't allowed to speak. All right. Now they're allowed to speak. Yes. Amen. And they're going to say what's on their mind. Amen. So we need to teach them. Yes. Teach them. It's not all about fighting. Yes. But it's about standing your ground yes. Yes. and being a, a Christian child, yes. a Christian home. Yes. Amen? Yes. And I've heard a lot of people that are saved, that, that are in you know, this age bracket says, you know, I, I came from a Christian home. I was raised a different way. Mm. That's the right way. Amen? Mm -hmm. Don't let children talk back to you. All right. All sit right. down. You don't have to argue. But sit down and explain it to them. Yes. What's going on in life? Because they need to know. Right. Amen? Amen. We don't want them confused. Because yes. Paul said, "I would not have you ignorant yes. to the devices of Satan." That means your child. Right. If they're connected to you, they don't need to be ignorant about what's going on in the world. Amen. Somebody give you candy in your hand on the street. Don't take it. Well, don't take it. Well, don't talk to strangers. Yes. If you see them, stop with a car. Go the other way if you have to. Go the long way around to come home. said that the truth shall make us free. Oh, hallelujah. Aren't you glad you're free today? Aren't you glad you're free today? Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I came to encourage you today to push. Push through your hard times. Push through your low days. Push through your sickness. Push through your pain. Push through your sorrows. Push through your dysfunctional yes. family. Yes. Push through your yes. children, right. your husband, yes. your wife, your friends. Push until you get Push. victory. Yes. Don't stop. Don't stop. Thank, you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I was told this young lady right here. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Why are you praying for her? Y'all don't know where she came in. She got to tell her own story. But I know the story. All right, now. Why are you praying for her? Well, I would go home in tears. Be running down my, my, my. on my clothes. Yeah. Driving. Yeah. But I continue to pray. All right. well, that is the result of pushing. All right. Hallelujah. All right. That's the result of pushing. Yes. She didn't know to push for herself. Right. She couldn't push for herself. Right. But I stayed in there yes. and I pushed for her. Yes. Because she is my blood. Hallelujah. Yes. She is my blood. Right. We have the same love and father. Yes. And I was not going to see the devil take over yes. her life. Right. I wasn't going to see the devil kill her. Oh, glory to God. Right. I kept on pushing. Yes. Oh, glory to God. That's the evidence yes. right there. Right. Oh, prayer. Yes. That's the evidence of yes. push. We got to push on yes. and believe God to be the one. Some of our prayers have not been answered. Because of our doubts, we doubt God. Yes, don't be like Thomas. Don't right. doubt him. Because if he saved you, he can do anything. Yes, yes. Glory to God. He can do anything. Uh, yes, if he yes. saved you, yes. that's a miracle in All itself. Right, yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. And he can do the same for everybody. He's no respect of person. Yes. He said, I wish it all to come into my the knowledge my, my, of my, Jesus. But yes. I wish it all would be saved. Well, yes. But you stay in the race. Thank Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I came to encourage you. Amen. Keep pushing. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Push until you get the victory. Thank you, Father. Push through yes. for your miracles. Yes. Push, glory to God. Push. For that rain on your job. All right, now. Push, glory to God. Thank you, For that house or that car, that husband or that wife. People go out here and they're on the internet trying to find a husband or a wife. Right. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. When you're a Christian, right 
You got to be equally yoked. All right now. Amen. You got to ask God. You can be specific for what you want. All right now. But God will give you what you need. Amen. Amen. And Amen. you will be satisfied. Yes. And happy with it. Right. Amen. Amen. God makes the decision. We come up with these ideas, but God has the last say so in everything. I don't care what you're thinking. He makes the final decision. Amen. He's the one that makes the final decision. The final conclusion. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. We're going to talk about David. David, mm -hmm. glory to God, was a pusher. Right. Amen? Amen. David. Amen. He used prayer to know yes. the will of God Go and to obtain guidance in his own actions. We know David was in a mess. Amen? Right. Mm -hmm. David understood the power of yes. prayer. Yes. And it's the best way of communicating with God. A constant reminder yes. that God is in control. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You don't control nothing. Yes. You may think you do, but you don't. Uh -huh. okay. You gave your life and your rights. Mm -hmm. okay. When you say, Lord, I accept you as my personal Savior. Yes. When you did that, you gave him all your yes. rights. Yes. Your rights is in Jesus yes. Christ. Whatever he says, yes. that's it. That's why yes. we say amen. 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 Whatever he says. Amen. 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 David was a pusher. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hannah was a pusher. Mm -hmm. Hannah's story. Glory to God. After years of trying to conceive a child mm -hmm. and being uh, ridiculed by her husband's wife, Penina, Hannah went to the temple of Shiloh mm -hmm. to make a sacrifice to the Lord yes. and pray for a child. Yes. Mm -hmm. She pushed she was praying so hard. When the priest came out and saw her praying, he thought she was drunk. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been there? Right. Prayed until you just don't know where you're at. Right. You're just caught up yes. well, well. in the okay. glory of God. Just yes. caught up. Yes. Hallelujah. You, just Lord. caught up. Don't you yes. want to be caught up yes. in the Lord? Yes. Glory yes. to God. Don't you want to yes. know him better? Yes. Don't you want to walk closer yes. with him? Yes. Don't you want him to bless yes. your everyday yes. life? Not only on Sunday, but you want to bless you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday. You want this continual blessing. Then we got to pray sometimes until we're caught up. We have to push in the spirit. Glory to God. Push and keep on pushing. Amen. Daniel, glory to God, was a pusher. Amen. Daniel prayed three times a day. Daniel was a prayer. We hear people talk about prayer warrior, but are you a prayer warrior this morning? Have you prayed today? Have you talked to the Lord about your day? Have you talked to the Lord about your situation this morning? Did you consult him before you left your home this morning? Did you consult him, hallelujah, about your life this morning? He said, Lord, have your way in the service. Use me, Lord, in the service. Don't let me be a sheep woman, but let me be a doer of the word. Hallelujah. Let me be a doer of the word to say. Hannah prayed until she got a child. Glory to God. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes we can be praying yeah. and people say, I don't see God moving in their life. But you keep on praying. Yeah. God will yeah. move. Yeah. If your faith goes out, if you keep on pushing, yeah. God will move oh, in your behalf. Yeah. He'll bring you to pass. Yeah. He'll manifest it. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Daniel was a prayer. Daniel was a bold prayer. Yes. He opened the windows. And say, okay, you, you, you forbid me to pray. Mm -hmm. right. But I'm going to pray to my God. All right, oh, hallelujah. Yes. Yes. I'm going to pray to my yes. God. Yes. Glory yes. to God. I saw on Facebook yesterday, Facebook is not all bad if you look for the right thing. Right. Amen. There was a lady in the island. Mm -hmm. I don't know her name, but I saved the video. It was about an hour long. Mm -hmm. This lady came from another island mm -hmm. and came to this island, Westland. Oh, my God, when she started, she said, What's that? Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. She had a mic, and somebody had the, uh, uh, the hook up in the back following her. She had a mic. She said, What's that? Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. And she preached from one end of that market. It was like an outside market to the end. And then she started back. Going back towards her home. Right. Go Glory to God. I said, Lord, this is All some right. holy boldness. Yes. 
Yes. Holy boldness. Yes. That's what God is looking for. Yes. Lord, we thank you. We thank you today thank you. for holy boldness in the body yes. of Christ. Yes. We thank you, God. Thank we lift our spirit. Yes. Oh, God, trouble us. Yes. Glory to God. Well, As we stand by the word. Right. Trouble us, God. Bless the Lord. Trouble us God. today, God. Yes. Never let us be the same. Well. Glory to God. Then we had another pusher. Yes. Glory to God. He Thank pushed. Yes. He pushed until he pushed his way to well, the cross. All right. Glory to God. He, he too yes. was a prayer warrior. Yes. He was the only prayer warrior. Yes. The best prayer warrior. Yes. The strongest prayer warrior. Yes. The greatest prayer yes. warrior. Glory to God. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus Thank Christ God. was a pusher. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. He didn't let go. Even though he knew he was going to the cross, he kept on. Well, he kept on saying, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He say to call upon the name of Jesus. Shall we say? We need to give people the word of God. Not what we say, but the word of God. It's life. It's powerful. It's sharper than any two words. Glory to God. Jesus prayed. Hallelujah. That was his lifestyle. Yeah. He said, if any man wants to come after me, yeah. mm -hmm. let him deny himself. Pick up his cross yes. daily yes. and follow me. Yes. Hallelujah. Go ahead. The songwriter wrote that song. Yes. I've decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. The cross before me and the world behind me. No turning back. No turning back today. Can you say that today? Amen. No turning back. No turning back. Glory to God. There's nothing in the world for us. Yes. But there's the cross before us. Yes. And the cross has the blood. Yes. Glory to God that cleansed yes. us. Yes. That has transformed us. Yes. Made us anew. Yes. Glory to God. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 said, uh, Behold all things. And that doesn't mean some things in your life. All things must become new. That old habit. That old way of talking. That old attitude. That way of dressing. That way of uh, interacting with people. Has to change if we want to be like Jesus. Another songwriter said, oh, I want to be like Jesus. Oh, I want to be like him. Do you want to be like Jesus this morning? Do you want to be like him? Oh, the Lord is God. Thank you, Lord. We must walk behind Him, not in front of Him, not on the side, but behind Him. And He covers us where no weapon, no harm can come to us. Let Him be the forerunner in our lives. He's already done the work. He said, Man, salvation is complete. There's nothing else to be done by Jesus right, and only by you. Well, Glory to God. We have to give him everything that belongs to him. Amen. We have to worship him in spirit and in truth. In spirit means to be in the spirit. Glory to God. Not in the flesh. Not in the flesh. Oh God, we got to look to the hills and we're coming to our help. Our help comes from the Lord. Amen. Our help comes from the Lord. Push. Glory to God. Thank you, Until something happens this yes. morning. Yes. Don't give up, church. Give up. Women of God, yes. I know yes. that you're a pusher. Yes. Oh, it has been proven. Yes. It has been seen yes. over biblical times and even now yes. that women are pushers. Right. You push your husband. You push your children. Yes. You are a pusher. You'll get out in the street well. and you will push. You'll push in the church, All not right. taking anything away from the men. Yes. But we do have uh, godly men that are pushes as well. All Amen. Right. They push. They stand the ground. All right. All and I praise God for Thank them. You. I praise God. Thank you, God. Because they're the backbone. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But we're the pushes. Yeah. Amen. We push in prayer. All right. We push in coming together and, right. and connecting. Yeah. Amen. Holding yeah. things together. Yeah. Amen. We yeah. push. Thank you, Amen. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We push on our knees for our children, our grandchildren, our family. Yeah. Yeah. We push. Yes. Yeah. Amen. But we got to keep pushing. Yeah. God yeah. has kept you here yeah. Yeah. from the last time I was here. Yeah. He's kept you here. Yeah. Yeah. We got to push. I went to a, a conference that my granddaughter had in Salisbury, Maryland. Well, actually, it, it, it went with three different places. We would just driving here, there, everywhere. 
it started in um, Ocean City, Maryland, and then it went from Ocean City, Maryland. They turned the place out in Ocean City, Maryland. They'll never be the same again. Uh, I praise God for that. And uh, then we went to Hokomo City, Maryland. They will never be the same again. All right. I've never seen so many young people. Amen. It's on Amen. young women. It's on yeah. fire for God. Yeah. Stay in the race. Keep yeah. pushing. I don't care what nobody else do. Women right. of God, men yeah. of God, keep pushing. Yeah. Yes. Push till you can't push no more. Right. Mm -hmm. Jesus prayed. Yes. Hallelujah. So the sweat might drop to blood yes. off of yes. me. Yes. He yes. prayed. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Sometimes we got to stay there. Yes. If you want to move of God, right. you got to push. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Stay on your knees. Yes. Reverence God All in right. everything that you do. Walk in the spirit. Right. And you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Stay in the spirit. Glory to God, when you walk out this church, when you walk down the street, people know who you are. You don't have to open your mouth. They know you've been with the Lord. You think about Moses on the mountaintop. Moses came down, he had a glow. When you're in touch with God, you get that glow. Amen. You get that glow on you that you've been with God. Somebody know that you're a man or a woman of God. Yes, because yes. you have that glow. Yes. Once God touches you, you're never the same. Mm -hmm. Never the same. Never the same. You look different. Yes. Amen? Amen. You talk different. All right. You walk different. Yes. You act different. Yes. Amen? Amen? We bless the Lord the same yes. for all of you. Yes. Glory to God. What are you going to do now? Yes. Are you going to... Let me hear you say Push, push, push until something happens. Push until you see results. Push until you can't push no more. Push, glory to God. Push, God has spared you, young African American men's lives because He's using you for the kingdom. Hallelujah. He has protected you, brought you through, put an armor around you. on pushing for Jesus. Amen. Keep pushing for Jesus. Glory to God. We thank the Lord this morning. We thank the Lord. We pray that God God's will be done in your life. And I know it will. We want you to keep on pushing today. Push in your church. Push in your neighborhood. Push to the needy. Push to those that are unsaved. Push. Amen. Push in a godly way yeah. and watch God move in your behalf. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. God will move. Yes. When you pray and push, God will move. Yes. But you got to have that faith. He said, just, just a little bit. He said, just the size of the mustard seed. That's all you need. That's all you need. He'll move mountains out of anyway. Yes. God has destroyed cities for his people. Yes. He has destroyed because they yes. harmed his people or they had his people in slavery. God has destroyed them because they didn't worship him. He's destroyed them. We don't understand everything that's going on in the world today. But he said, now we're seeing part. We look in the glass. We don't know what's going on. All of it. We do know, but we don't know all of it. But when the Lord comes, he will reveal the chance. Amen. God bless you all. Stand on your feet. Praise the Lord. Stand on your feet. And we will pay it. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Is anybody here today that doesn't, I don't say know the Lord, doesn't know the Lord as your personal Savior? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. This time is set aside for you. You're not coming as a member, if you're not a member, but you're coming to accept Christ as your personal Savior. You're coming to turn your lives over to Christ. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that if you believe in him individually, you shall not perish, but have eternal life. Mm -hmm at this time. And God said, I sent my son into the world not to condemn you, but through him 
that you might be saved yes. from perishing in hell. That's where you're going. Mm -hmm. There's a heaven, there's a hell. Yes. Today, those of you in Facebook land, if you don't know the Lord, today is your personal Savior. Now is the time we set aside for you to accept Christ as your personal Savior at this time. Would you come? Thank you, Jesus. If you're not a member of this church or a church, on behalf of the pastor in Mitchell Baptist Church, we invite you to come and join this church. He said, let us not forget the assembling of ourselves together. And you on Facebook land, you can come. Come visit Mitchell Baptist Church. Come be a part of the ministry of what they're doing. Come. Amen. God bless you at this time. So glad I'm here singing. So glad I'm here singing. So glad I'm here in Jesus' name. Well, I'm so glad I'm here singing. So glad I'm here singing. So glad I'm here in Jesus' name. Let's give God a praise. Let's praise God for the word this morning. Let's praise God for the will of God being obedient to bring the word this morning. Now let's praise God for what you're going to do with the word this morning. Amen. We thank and praise God for uh, Evangelist Anderson as she comes. I didn't forget that. I ain't going to see any more. <laughs> and uh, for sharing with us and challenging us in the importance of prayer and the importance of pressing through. And as you will hear and see in the text that she has given, there were times when folks would pray and uh, they didn't believe. When the word was that God had already acted on that petition, they were still confused. Amen? Amen. One of the things I want to encourage you to do, when you know somebody praying for you, and God done gave you your, your breakthrough, you need to come back and share it so we can get a praise through them. Amen? Amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen. For our women, we thank and praise God for all that they are doing and all that they have done. And uh, I, I do know that, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Sister Grace, we need you back down here because we are going to take the picture. Amen? Amen. And... Uh, I do know also that she has made preparations to be a blessing to you all, and she can tell you all about what needs to take place on that. Amen? Amen. But again, we thank and praise God for Reverend Anderson and for her ministry and for the ministry that she has shared with us over the course of the years. Amen? Amen. We uh, were preparing ourselves. We're going to worship the Lord with our giving, but at the same time, we will uh, continue to, uh, as she said, don't run out. We need to get that picture, amen? It's an annual picture that we have. And uh, believe it or not, those pictures come in real handy, and they're very encouraging. Uh, when uh, Sister Johnson was here, uh, and after she went home to be with the Lord, I forwarded right around the anniversary time of her departure, I forwarded pictures of the women and the women's ministry while they were right up here and all together, and it was such a tremendous encouragement to her family. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let Jesus lead you. Let Jesus lead you. Let Jesus lead you. Oh, all the way, all the way from earth to heaven, let Jesus lead you. Oh, all the way. Before we pray, I do want to 
want to remind you that over at United Missionary Baptist Church, 250 Thompson, just a few blocks from here, they will be celebrating uh, uh, Pastor Chandra's 10th anniversary this, this afternoon. Uh, we had a mix up on the time. I have one o'clock on one day, but we have confirmed it's at three o'clock. For those that may be going over, want you to go and represent. Now, I do have a hospital visit that I need to make. Uh, I need to make it today because I promised yesterday, and he was in a he was in a procedure. But I definitely want to get over there, and Lord willing, we'll try to get back over here. Amen. Amen. Eternal God, our Father, again, we thank and praise you for all that you are doing in our lives. And we pray that by your spirit, you will encourage us and motivate us and help us to be mindful of the fact that the tools that we need to push are already in us. You said that we, we need to tarry until we be endued with power. And as the Holy Spirit has sealed us until the day of redemption, now, O oh Lord, we need to become obedient to the Spirit's leading and allow you to push us so that we can push through all those situations and circumstances that we face. And now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before your presence with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and ever. Let the church say amen. 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 God bless you.